Hello everybody, welcome back. We're doing another haul video today. I've been treating myself. Now, some of the things are coming on a slow boat from China. So, again, this is going to be a collective haul over a period of some weeks. I didn't sort of go out and buy all this in one go. So, let's start with nail sugar. Which is not using boxes now, apparently. Look, it's a Santa sweetie. I will be eating that later. Uh, right, so. Hello, new decals. I'm kind of glad just not using the boxes because I haven't got the heart to throw them away because they're good boxes and I'm getting so many boxes in this room. It's unreal. And there's no need for it. Orange has done a bit with the paper as well. That's, that's a good thing. There's no plastic on them anymore. Okay, so let's start off. We've got our gingerbread ones. These are just the cutest thing ever. Love them. We've got wee Santa gonks, which I love. We've got wee winter penguins. How cute are they? Can you hear my stomach? I'm so sorry. <laughs> and i got coos. I love coos. Look, that one looks like it's kind of half drunk. But yeah, I love them. So that's the water decals I got. I did get a few glitters, but I was kind of slow off the mark. So some of our new winter glitters were already sold out by the time I put my order in, which I was gutted about. So I will get them when they come back into stock. But at the moment, I've only actually got two. Festive Forest, which is, as you can see, green-based. But it's a multi-mix. Oh! <laughs> There's hollow in there, there's metallic, there's several different colours of green in there and there's a wee bit blue as well, I think. So that is extremely pretty. And I've got cinnamon kisses, which is kind of burnt orange, kind of hollow. It's so pretty. Wait, I need to open it a wee bit. I think that'll look really nice burnished. Absolutely beautiful. So... Let me just get my wee hoover here before we move on to the next thing. I think I need to test it. There we go. So that is nail sugar. Let's pop them out the way. Get rid of the rubbish, but see. Now I want to keep this envelope because... <laughs> but that's just silly. We'll be putting it in the recycling. We'll keep the ribbon. Because my wee foster cats are like chasing that. But we'll put the envelope in the recycling. I'm not going to keep it. I do not need it. Okay, so... I've snipped all these, but I haven't taken them out. You know, I've like, opened them at the top with scissors before we started, but I haven't taken any out yet. Okay, so this I ordered. Oh, some replacement stamper heads for my XL stampers. Um, the great big ones because I kind of ruined a lot of them, whether it be with my nails. You know, when you press on them the nail goes right through them or because I've used pigments on them or just various reasons so I ordered some replacement heads for my big stampers there we go happy baby so it was a pack of five I think one two three four five yeah five um, I'm not sure how much was I think it was maybe about a fiver, something like that. Um, they can go in the backup drawer. I've got so much more room left in the backup drawer now that I've done the doubles giveaway because the amount of stuff in there that was just oh, taking up so much space. Okay, so I've got a pack of Christmassy stickers. Not that I really needed any. 
let's have a view look. Okay, so we've got this one, which is kind of a, a traditional type one, which is very nice. Oh, more gingerbread. That's nice. We've got a panda. A Christmas panda. Mm, okay. <laughs> and the separate snow letters to spread across your nails. And I like that there's some writing on these. We've got winter days, Merry Christmas, ho, 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 winter, Christmas. Coffee mood. Yeah, that will be mine. Hot cocoa. Yeah, I like them. And this one, again, it is kind of traditional. I like these down here. I think they're beautiful. Now, are these stickers or these decals? I think they're decals. I'm pretty sure they're decals. They are, because stickers wouldn't have this film over the top of them. So they're all water decals, which will get put away shortly. And then I also got this. For the little munchkins in my life, i.e. my grandchildren, all three of them are into Marvel. So I got these just for a bit of fun. And these must have been thrown in as a freebie because I know I didn't order them. Follow your heart, but be quiet for a while first. Learn to trust your heart. Huh. Okay. So that is everything till I get something else delivered. <laughs> okay, let me show you this next. I actually got this from a Christmas fair. And it's one of those nail rings you put on and it kind of covers your nail. It's more for, excuse me, it's more for display rather than actually wearing, although I might wear it. It's quite snug on that finger, it's a nice fit, so I might wear it. But um, we'll see, I just thought it was awfully pretty and I've wanted one for ages. So we got that. And then I ordered this for Amazon. Now it's Amy Lee at Nail Brush Cleaner Gel. I usually just use a wee bit of base coat because I've got so much base coat, it's unbelievable. So I usually just use base coat, but when I saw this, I thought I would give it a wee try. So, clean, protect, nourish. Wait a minute till we read the box. It's not really saying much. Pour off an amount of brush cleaner gel to container. Soak the brush in the cleaner gel for a few seconds. Press to wash if in need. Use nail wipes to absorb XX gel. So, aye, it's pretty much just doing it the same way as you would with base coat. Applique the new nail brush has a layer of wax which can be cleaned with brush cleaner gel before use. The accumulated colour on the nail brush can be deeply soaked to be clean. Stiff brush or branch brush could be fixed with brush cleaner gel. Now that's actually good to know because this is my old one this is i've got a, a new one that i use for actual painting but this is my old nap mug detailer brush and it's kind of a wee bit mm, don't know if the camera will pick that up but it's kind of a wee bit it's starting to split the the hairs are coming apart and it's kind of bent in one direction so i wonder if maybe um, using this i'll help Restore it a wee bit and nourish it a bit. So, I will update probably on a wee story here how I got on with this because I am going to give it a try and see what it's like. So, next up, this is my shine haul. Shine, sheen, sheen, whatever. Um, and I'm going to start off with a thing that's not nail related. And that's, I've got this for in my kitchen. I've got a, another mobile phone I keep in the kitchen. When I'm doing dishes or when I'm cooking or baking or even just cleaning the kitchen down. I've got a phone that I listen to YouTube on, um, which is sometimes why I like all your videos, but I don't always comment. Um, I just get a quick like and then I listen to it while I'm getting on with what I'm doing. So I thought, if I get this to stick it to the wall, it's not going to be, you know, lying on the worktop. Um, so I thought I'm going to hang it for the wall and put my phone in here and there's still space for the charger to go in underneath so that is that right where will i start here let's start with these because they're awfully pretty it's display leaves for putting your finished nails on 
I just thought they were lovely. I have got a feather, but it's like, um, it's clear and glitter and it's quite wintry. I, I, it's no one I can really use all year round, so I've got these for just putting nails on to display for pictures. And there's a rose gold, a gold and a silver. I can't remember how much they all were, but if anybody wants specific prices for anything, let me know down in the comments um, and I will get the prices for you. Next up, I also got myself another XL stamper. I like the big ones because it's easier for me to grip when my hands are sore. A big chunky one's nice to grip with. Mm, that feels okay. It's not quite as flexible as what I would usually like, but I'm not fussy about the scraper. I've got plenty. I'm saving all these wee baggies for my son. Uh, so I got purple, and again, it's just a clear stamper. Comes with a head. Um, the ones, the stamper heads that I've just showed you, they will fit this. So I'm set for a wee while <laughs> for XL stampers. Uh, let me do this. I got this foil. I just thought it was so, so pretty. I'm not obviously not going to use all of it, so I'll be putting this summit in a wee baggie in my giveaway box, but it's pearlised. And it, it, it's the marble. It is kind of a marble slash... What's that thing where you put... Oh, I know what I'm thinking about. I can't think of the word. But it's pearlised on top, and I just think it looks so, so pretty. I love it. So there's five strips in there. I'll probably keep a couple for myself and put the rest in a wee giveaway bag. But I thought it was very pretty. Next up, I've got some nail stickers. They are very bright. I'm pretty sure these glow in the dark. Am I wrong here? Let me see. Mm, I'm not sure they're going to glow in the dark. Let me stick them under there. No, they're not. They're not glow in the dark, but they are very pretty. Oh. So this one's got snowflakes, Merry Christmas. Um, and this one has got the reindeer and wee Christmas trees. The reindeer we a sleigh. So I just thought they were awfully pretty because pink seems to be quite popular now. I noticed a, a trend for Halloween nails, a lot of them were pink. So I thought if I'm stocked up with things that I can use for pink nails for Christmas designs, I'll be set. I've already had a couple of orders for Christmas nails. One of them is finished and done. Another one still to be done. So next up is these wee water decals. I've got one similar to this, but when I spied these, I just thought they were so, so cute. I love snowmen. And obviously, I love snowflakes because they're so close to stars. So I thought they were really pretty. And the other one, it's this sleigh going over like a... What is that scene? What is it called? It looks like rooftops. <laughs> but I, I thought they were lovely. Um, and they look a decent size. So hopefully they'll fit my chubby wubby fingers. I also got this. Um, I have got a clean up brush. I'm going to leave that stuff because I want to try that gel on it. Um, but I got this because it looks like it's really angled and it's going to get into other nooks and crannies. So I got this as another clean-up brush. And it does help, but it's very pretty. Look at that. That's quite mesmerising. <laughs> I'm so easily amused. More stickers. Played ones. Those ones, I'm not so sure. I'm loving them. Love the stars. And I, I do like it, but these ones... I love. I love the colour combination on here for plaid. It's just different. It's not very often I've seen a colour combination like that, whereas this I think is pretty common for plaid or tartan. So we've got these. They've got that really plasticky smell to them. So I'll be glad when they go in the book. I got um, some neon letters. I do have some, I think, in a wee tub, but I don't have an awful lot of them. Where are they? If I've got them, they're going to be in this one. Well, maybe I haven't got them. Maybe I had so little of them that um, 
I've used them all. Yeah, I don't seem to have them. But yeah, I bought them because, not just for pride, but I think they'll be good for um, spelling out pride for Pride Week. But also, there's a collab coming up, which these will be perfect for. Um, I'm not going to give too much away because obviously the rest of the girls want a surprise as well, but I think these would be perfect to, if I can figure out a way to incorporate them in to this next collab that's coming up. Hang on, let me shut this drawer or I will scatter crystals everywhere. Speaking of which, well they're not crystals, but I got these wee flowers that everybody's been loving. Um, I won't use a great deal of them, so I just got the wee set. There was some that, you know, the bags that were quite big and had a few in them. But I didn't think it was worth me getting that because I won't use that amount. So I just got the wee box. And I think that would be enough for me if I need them. I'm kind of gutted that there isn't a... I know that looks kind of bluish, but I would say that's more mint green. Um, So I'm kind of gutted that there isn't a blue one in it. But however, no matter. If I want blue, I can order them. Next we have these. Again, these are for display. And I have the the long plastic ones, but these are double-sided sticky. So you could take that off and stick it. You're not going to get a full set on there, but if you put two together, you can put a full set of nails on there. Um, and they're double-sided sticky, so I thought they would be great for, like, I've got these. And that's the ones I've got as the bigger plastic ones, and I've got double-sided tape stuck to them. Um... I like having some nails displayed in my nail room. So I thought these would be good, even for when I'm doing the press-ons for people, just to put them onto there and stick them to the paper or the card that I'm putting in the envelope with them. That box is a pain in the arse to open, by the way. That's why I had it already open <laughs> before we started. I've got a... Who is that? What, what is this bloody... Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me today? I can't remember. I've got a glass nail file and I swear by it. Um, so I thought I would get another one just to see what it's like. See if it matches up. Um, it's not too bad. That actually feels quite nice. It's quite bumpy. I quite like the feeling of that. That would be... I don't know. Can you hear it? It's quite bumpy. Yeah, I like that. So I thought it would be handy to have one in my handbag and keep my expensive one in the house. So that's my plan for that. That will be going in my handbag. Now, I got a pack of dual form because I went to use them, I think it was last week, and I must have given them all away and a giveaway or, or I've done some bin them because I couldn't find a single one. So I ordered some dual forms and I didn't know you got this clip with it so that brings us on to the next thing I ordered a pack of them and um, there's five in here uh, there's no way on earth I'll use five all at once so if anybody wants one of these they maybe shout because I've got one here that I will keep in fact I'm going to take that out of there and put it in here beside the dual forms I don't know why I was why was I wanting dual forms? I'm not sure. I, I can't remember, but I went to look for them and I didn't have them. So I ordered them. And then I ordered the clips as well because I didn't know you got that. And lastly, for this section of the haul, there is more to come because I've put an order into AliExpress as well. I've got more of these wee books because I've got all my nail sugar decals in one of these and I am fast running out of room. So I thought I would order a couple more and also some of the stickers that I've got, they're too big to fit in here so I can get these in a couple, I'll keep one for, I'll keep one of them for my nail sugar stuff and I'll use the other one for other random things that I've got so that they're not taking up space in here because I can't get my drawer shut. I've had to take these out the drawer because I couldn't get it shut. So, that is that. 
Next up, I have a few things from Smiley's Glitter Store. I haven't ordered for here for ages and ages. And I ordered some Metal Charms designer ones because I've had, since I put my collab picture up for my Dior nails, I've had a few requests for designer nails for customers for press-ons. So, I ordered myself some charms. I'm going to put them all in here so that they're easier to put into my wee storage pot. So we'll start off with this one. Well, this is a free gift. Wow. Oh, they're gorgeous. So they are free. They're sh wee Chanel charms. They are really pretty. Isn't they lovely? So they were free. Next up I have... Oh, wait a minute. I thought I'd ordered two of these, but I've obviously only ordered one. Yeah, I must have only ordered one. It's a wee rose gold skate. Ice skate. Well, maybe I've actually got one of these. Look at this. How cute is that? I think I might have one of these. Maybe that's why I only ordered one. Then we've got this one. I only ordered one of these because I probably won't be putting these in a nail, but I thought it'd be nice to do a set with them if I think of something. And it's a wee, like Swarovski mouse. Look. Uh -huh. I love it. Those wee beady eyes. Tiny wee crystals. They must be like SS1s. But they're so pretty. In fact, that won't go in the designer one. Neither will that. Uh, and this I ordered. These aren't designer either, but <coughs> ordered these for really for next year. Um, some Jack Skellington charms, cause Nightmare Before Christmas is always a popular design at Halloween, isn't it? And I do have a fan of Jack Skellington all year round. So let's move on to. Some of the other ones. These are Swarovski swans. So I've got two of those. And they're pretty. They're so nice. So, so nice. Right, I got... What are these ones? I need to tip them out. I should probably have had all these out the bag, but I haven't, so... Why is that stuck? Why are you stuck? You little YSL sign. So we have two gold YSL. Lovely. They're not bejeweled. They're just plain gold. I have silver Fendi. I've never had anybody ask for Fendi, but I thought, well, I was getting the designer charms. I was as well ordering them. So we have some designer Fendi. They're quite nice. I think sometimes with Fendi, you've got to actually have a good look at it before you realise what it is. What are these? These are Louis Vuitton ones. These are jeweled ones. So we have a little bling here. See? Little Louis Vuitton charms. Very nice. I ordered more Dior charms because I only have that one that was on the nail that I'd done for the designer set. So I thought if anybody asks for a set, I'm going to need two. So there we have a matching pair. Always handy when you have two hands. <laughs> I wish I'd just put them all in one bag, to be honest, but they're all in separate wee baggies. So we've got gold Gucci. There we go. And did I see silver Gucci? Yeah, I did. So these are the same ones, but in silver. Just 
just exactly the same. Then we have oh more Louis Vuitton. These ones aren't bejeweled and they're gold ones. There we go. Then I have I've got a wee rose gold snowflake. I just got one because I think this will probably be going on my own hand. There we go, with a wee crystal in the middle. Very pretty. But again, not designer, so we'll put it in that bundle. More Louis Vuitton. These ones are silver. Are they the plain ones? Yes, I think they are. Yeah, they're plain silver. The same as the gold, but they're the silver ones. And I've got the silver YSL, same as the gold ones that I showed you. There we are. Oh, and the final each end. Lastly, I've got silver Dior ones, exactly the same as the gold, but in silver. So I think I'm stocked up with designer charms for a wee while. So let me get these put away and we'll go on to the next thing. Okay, next up, I don't know if any of you watch um, The Meticulous Manicurist, but she uses this stuff called Nail Mycosis. And it's mainly, I think it's for fungal. Um, well, it's a solution for nail mycosis, but it's made by Imperial Feet. And she gets great results with it. Now, when I was destroying my nails the other night in my wee psychotic episode, I noticed this nail don't know if the camera will pick it up, but this nail's actually separating from the nail bed. That's how I managed to bite it so far down. And it's it's coming away. So I thought I would get this and try it and put a wee drip in it every day. But also, I do have fungus on my toe. Only one. Just my big one on my right foot. Um, so I thought I would get this to try it and see if it's as wonderful as what she says. It smells so fresh and clean but with a hint of medicinal <laughs> do you know what I mean it's got glycerin jojoba oil tea tree oil I'm assuming there's other things in it but um it smells really nice so hopefully this works on my wee detached nail now everything else is from Born Pretty no it's not that's an absolute lie it's from AliExpress <laughs> but these things are from the Born Pretty store so I uh, ordered a black stamping polish and a white stamping polish. These are the ones that go through the most. So I just ordered them to have a backup of each one. Um, and I got metallic drawing gel. This is gold. I didn't get the Madame Glam gold one because it was glittery and I wanted just the metallic one. But they didn't have it. I messaged them to ask if... Because I know they used to do the gold chrome and the silver chrome. And I got the silver chrome but they don't have the gold chrome. So I ordered, this isn't chrome, but I ordered the gold metallic gel from Born Pretty. Um, so let's have a wee look. Right, I'll get this um, all cut and such like, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got it cut open. This smells so chemically. Honestly, that is so strong. Wow, none of my other gel paints, even the silver chrome doesn't smell like this. That is so strong. Right, let me get a wee mix up. Seems to be taking a while to mix. Maybe the pigment's just got trapped. It being in transit for so long, I mean it was on a slow boat for China, so... Yeah, it could just be that it's in a really, really good mix. I should have maybe given it a wee shake before I took the, the foil off. But however, that'll do for just now. Oh, let me show you what it's like. I'm going to make such a mess. I know I am. <laughs> right, let's get rid of that before I smother it everywhere. Smother it, slather it, whatever. Uh, right, so let me just get this palette. And we'll just draw in the palette. Okay, so let's um, dip this in here. 
this brush isn't even fixed. I'm just about to, to fix this actually. I'm going to try that new stuff that I showed you earlier on. As you can see, the brush is a bit dodgy. But it's going to let you see the paint enough, I think. So yeah, it's, it's not chrome, but it is metallic. So you could probably get away with rubbing a wee bit chrome on there before you fully cure it. Um, I'm not sure if these actually need top coated. I'll have to check the website. Okay, this next batch is from AliExpress. Now it's been a long while in between filming because I ordered this stuff back in November. It's now the 30th of December and I've only just got this stuff. So I ordered some nail tip, fuel cover tips. Where the fuck do all open these? There they are. Um, I wanted square ones because I didn't have any. And I thought they were going to be short, but they're actually quite long. However, they might be okay. Obviously, I've got gel polish on my nails anew, so that would be too big, but they look okay. I'll see, uh, I'll see what I think of them. Um, I got some of these covers for my drill bits, for my file bits. Um, I've got a, some of these on my, my bits, but I don't have enough for all, so I ordered the wee pack so that I've got enough for all my, my file bits. I ordered some Nightmare Before Christmas stickers. Um, you know, these are ones I can use all year round because it's a popular design, not just at Halloween or Christmas. Rachel would have these on in her fingers every day of the week if she could. And other people that have bought press ones for me have been extremely interested in this. So I decided to get them. I got winter stickers, winter blue. Look at them, they're so pretty. So, so pretty. So I might do these on a set in January. Obviously, I'm going to take this off my nails and I'm going to do New Year nails. But um, I might do a set with these in January because I absolutely love them. They're beautiful. And I ordered some foils. I'm not going to take them all out because you should be able to see most of them. But I've got some... Oh, it's no Disney, but I'll take it off here. Let to come out. I've got to see exactly what's on that. Right, so we've got some gnomes and some mermaids and... Old stools, but a strange mix. But however, however, um, we've got some wee kawaii ones. We've got Disney Princess, my wee Aurora. Can you hear the cat? That's her digging her claws into my carpet. So we've got numerous scratching posts and boxes all over the house, but she chooses to use my carpet because she's an arsehole. Yeah, so we've got some wee kitty kawaii ones there, one of the poo, another fan favourite of Rachel's. And um, we've got some Donald and Daisy Duck. I'm not even putting them back in because they're going in my folder. Uh, what is this one? Let me find an end. Oh, it's Marie. <laughs> From Aristocats. I love Marie. <laughs> She's such a wee diva. What is this? Let me have a look. Oh, it's Lilo and Stitch. They were mainly for my nephew, Kyle. He likes um, Lilo and Stitch. And I'm sure I did a Lilo and Stitch set for him before. Or maybe it was somebody else. What's this? What's this? What's this? Just a mixture of Disney by the looks of it. Oh, it's Mickey. It's Mickey ones. And a mixture. Rad. B. But they're all written backwards. Oh boy, I hate the word B. I absolutely despise that word. So none of that will be going on nails. That is it. They're so cute. Look, teddy bears and bunnies. I love that. I really only ordered this for the, the Winnie the Pooh and the Disney Princess. So that is them. Now, in that time, I put another order into Madame Glam. Because previously in the video, you'll have saw the gold gel paint that I got was 
first day and it smelled disgusting and it wasn't very nice so I ordered the one from Madame Glam um, and obviously it's not a chrome one this is the glittery one so I thought while I was at it I was as well getting the silver one as well so I've got both the, the glittery Madame Glam gels now um, then I put in an order for arms and I didn't think these were going to come in time and I knew I wanted short square nails for new year because after I destroyed my nails with biting them they haven't grown back all that much really so I want to keep them short and I'm enjoying the square shape just now so I ordered these Calolari has anybody tried these? they're extra short so they shouldn't put too much pressure on my nail beds that are still recovering and they're already frosted so you don't have to hang it inside of them and I think they're just a nice size and a nice length for nail beds that are a bit damaged and tender at the moment so yeah they look tiny absolutely tiny yeah I have no chance of getting away with them these ones I think when the gel polish is off that would be a nice size and fit. So I got them and to help with applying them, I finally took the plunge and got myself one of these hands-free lamps that you can just hold your finger under. I haven't tried this yet, I haven't even had it out of the box. So fingers crossed it works because if it doesn't, I can't send it back to Amazon right now. You've got to be accessories packed there. One of these beautiful knives, a hoof stick file two separators and there's a metal file in there as well I don't know if you can see it there it is um, I probably won't use very much of them to be honest but they're there yeah you know, I got this one because it's got the wee space for putting bits in oh how's that come on how, how did that happen it's not even plugged in help Oh, that's a button. Oh, right, so it doesn't need to be plugged into work. It just needs plugged into charge. Okay, so that's good. So I'm going to use this to apply these tips um, for to do my new year nails. Hopefully I'll get around to filming that today. If I'm in a rush and I have to do my nails tomorrow, I probably won't film it. But you will see this being used in an upcoming video at some point. I hope. So... That is it for this video. I know it's been a long one. Thank you if you stayed to the end. And let me know if you've got this stuff, if you want this stuff, what your recommendations are for using this stuff. Thank you very much for watching. And as I say, it's the 30th of December, so I hope you all have an amazing new year. I am planning on putting a video up on Sunday um, with a few wee updates and comments and such. But I hope you have an amazing new year, have lots of nice food, have a few wee tipples, if that's your thing. Don't shed too many tears at the bells like what I do, and just have a great time with family. Love to you all. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.